usiwahi kuwa karibu na mtu ambaye akiamka anaamka alafu ana watch cinema afro cinema soap operas badala ya kuenda kulala aamke aende kazi ana watch soap operas mpaka jioni huyo mtu ni zuzu and very destructive that person is used is living a useless life he or she has a lot of time to waste sindi kufundishi kitu kidogo tu alafu tusome itakusaidia mimi ninangangania na tafuta ka time kadogo tu nilale sababu kabla sijalala niko busy nikiamka tu ile kitu huwa naangalia ile mlango naangalia huwa ni bathroom huwa nikiamka ni bathroom nikitoka hapo a list of programs na kabla sijaenda kulala nikitoka mahali hapa huwa moja kwa moja bedroom yangu moja kwa moja mara nyingi nitakulia hapo kwa hiyo bedu hapo ninakula nitaingia hapo niingie bathroom nikishaoga nimeketi kwa kiti alafu ninaangalia saa ni saa ngapi sababu niko na saa ya kuamka na kuomba so nitajilazimisha nilale ili nipate time ya kuamka niombe because i can't miss prayer nitarudi nipumzike nitasoma neno nirudi nipumzike nikiamka ni bathroom from bathroom na va na teremuka program zimeanza nikimaliza hizo programs ni bedroom wewe uko na time ya kukula na kulala kwa kiti wewe uko na time ya kuketi hivi hata kama ni saturday wewe unaangalia afro cinema si wewe ni mgonjo mamushi wewe dada mwambie aache kutangaza ugonjwa wake mami niangalie uko na time ya kukaa sande hauendi kanisani eti unapiga story na watu waliochanganyikiwa hawana kitu cha kufanya wanapiga story na wewe wao pia wametoka huko kwako kwao wamekuja hii ugonjwa inaitwa ati majirani leo i have my friends my visitors i have my friends we are having out we are going out huo ni ugonjwa mimi siwezi nikafanya time is very short life is very short siwezi ni <laughs> Mwingine anipigia simu najua wananiangalia saa hizi. Mwambie pasa sana tunataka kuja kumtembelea. Kutembelea nani? Nikamuuliza mke wangu, uko na time ya kukaa na wamama wawili ambao wamekosa kazi kwao wakuje wapige story hapa sio kwa nyumba yao. Akaniambia kwanza hata sina habari na hao watu sina time. Sababu dunia iko uko na muda mfupi ukipiga story na watu ambao hawana kazi kwao watakuambukiza roho ya kufanya nothing utanaelewa kile nafundisha ninakusaidia kweli hata kama nakukasisha sababu unajua nimegonga gonga na virusi vingine ndani ya mtu ukiona mtu anapiga story saturday sunday na jirani yake <laughs> nitakwambia ukweli huyo mtu hakuna mahali anaenda okay we have seven days in the week seven days in the week mimi weekends niko busy Siku ile ambao watu wanajua ninapumzika ni mande Hiyo mande nikiteremka kutoka kwa bedroom nikitoka nje nimeanza kazi. Hiyo mande niko na kazi nyingi. In fact kesho kama ningekuwa sawia na program zangu yatakana niwe Dar es Salaam na niwe Kampala na nirudi nilale hapa. Kesho sababu niko na meza ya Bwana siwezi kulala mbali. Tuesday niko na meza ya Bwana yatakana lale hapa leo ni kwa yatakikana nilale Nairobi kama ingeenda na program yangu baada baada hii nilale Nairobi niamke niingie kam, Dar es Salaam nitoke Dar es Salaam niingie niwe na meeting Dar es Salaam niingie Kampala niko na meeting nikitoka huko niingie Nairobi tena nirudi nilale hapa wewe uko na time ya kukaa hivi mnapika chakula asubuhi mkule umeketi unasubiri lunch kule umeketi unasubiri hii wewe ugonjwa mimi au watu ambao wanatembelea mke wako every weekend wafukuze watafanya mke wako hana akili oi nimekosea watu leo au watu ambao wanakuja wanachukua mume wako on saturday na sunday waambie hapa ni kwangu hapa sio kwa wanaume kuja kupiga story na kuona manchester versus arsenal wanangu sio mchezaji wa mpira tokeni hapa mwanaume mwenye madevu aliye na kipara kama hivi amekaa hivi ana watch Arsenal versus Manchester. Pole. Hakuna makofi leo Yesu angwe. 
Siku moja Mungu aliniuliza, "Wajua hii kitu inaitwa news na politics? Wewe auke ni shida. Nilikuanga namba 1. News saa moja hainiachi nja nje. Saa tatu siwezi hata kama ni chakula hiyo chakula inasubiri. Nina watch vitu ambavyo havinisaidi. Wakati wa kibaki na Raila nini hama na TV kutoka sitting room mpaka bedroom kukiamuka na amuka nayo ninaangalia watu ambao wanajitafutia vibarua vyao vya urais na mimi hata sikuwa na kazi sikuwa na maisha ikiisha nakuta kibaki ni rais Raila bado analikwa kama kiongozi wa opposition mimi ndio nalikwa kama kiongozi wa mchinga nikasema sitawahi fanya kazi hiyo bure na unajua kuna wengine kesho waendi kazini wanaangalia inaitwa nini Supreme Court <laughs> nina wa, ninawaumiza moyo na ninaumiza moyo kimaksudi uamuzi wa kesho ni uamuzi wa kufaidi watu wangapi His Excellency Mheshimiwa Ruto na Prime Minister Raila peke yao sio wewe haikuhusu utabaki na chumvi yako na unga yako weka hapo kesho eh hey wacha tuone kama tumeshinda umeshinda <laughs> irrigation uende mfungo ama ufungue biashara yako mapema ujipange jinsi ya kulisha watoto wako na kuwalipia kara si nimesaidia mtu hata kama nimekuudhi life is very short zile vitu ziko ndani ya moyo wangu hata ningeongezewa miaka niishi miaka 200 singemaliza na wewe sasa uko na bedrooms tatu na gari moja na wewe ni mkubwa wa kampuni fulani sasa wewe unafikiria umefanikiwa wakubwa wako wengi <laughs> wakubwa wako wengi omba Mungu akutoe kwa hicho kiwango ingia kwa kiwango utabakisha mfano chini ya jua mimi nakusaidia nimekuongelesha ili ukasirike ufanye kitu cha maana sikuwa na kuongelesha ili useme amen no nilikuwa na kuudhi I don't mind is the devil workshop whoever said that was not wrong as long as you are engaging your mind in meaningful purpose then you are safe for you will not have negative attack from the outside of your mind ni wakati tuelewe our gifts so that we can exercise them and for your information your gift is very simple to know you don't have to go all around discovering it haiko kwa milima mabonde inji tambarare wala hewani. Leo nataka niwaeleze jinsi utajua hauishi kulingana na your purpose. Ukisikia alamu yako yaita asubuhi kwa mfano na uwe hauna furaha kuhusu hilo, basi jua kwanza ufanye kile wapaswa kufanya. Kama huna furaha na kile kinachokuamsha, basi elewa you are not living in your purpose or within your gift. Kinachochoma moyo ni muhimu sana. Ukitilie maanani kwa sababu huo hakiondoki hivi hivi. Na pia tafadhali usitamani kuishi maisha ya wengine ama kuishi life without a purpose. Identify your own because things that you do absolutely the best with the least amount of effort. Sasa hicho ndicho kipawa chako. Jamani usiwe vuvuzela wa kila kitu. Usio wewe ndio wa ku break news wakati pale majirani wanapigana. Hmm? Wendio number one kujua kile kilichopokea kilip walianza vipi mm? ama kukiwa na wageni kwa majirani wewe huyo na notebook mm? ushaanza kuna kile ama simu uko kwa kapicha tu pale kwa dirishani pale wafungwa net wafungwa nini kitambaa cha dirisha pale alafu unaanza kuchukua video wageni wa wenyewe hata una haya endi upate trading news ya kupelekea majirani wengine udaku mwanamke hulka ama kwako ndio campaigning grounds ya kuchambua magazeti eh mwanza Nairobi mwemalizia Mombasa unapata wapi muda huo jamani pia wapata muda wapi wa kujibizana na majirani eh kurushiana maneno huku na kule the devil has taken hold of you you are the captive of all this please choose your friends wisely Wanasema show me your friends and I will tell you the kind of person you are. Do not give everyone access to your life at the same level. Tafadhali. Wakati ule ambao una choose friends who are very makini. Hmm? Kuna wengine ukiwakubali tu kwa marafiki zako. Wanakuja kwako and my friend in two minutes wako kwa bedroom yako. 
or in two days anajua weakness ya boma yako yote na yake wewe hujui yani you are kila kitu si watoto si marafiki ashajua na in the third day masimu waanza kuyapokea mama karo yani you mean ulisema hayo yote juu yangu ashapeleka udaku mama wenyewe yeye ni kuja kuokota na kupeleka yeye ndio nini trader eh? please learn how to edit your friends first before your data falls into a wrong ear don't give them access associations are powerful eh? to say me when a visionary on your way to get big things until you become part of the groups that has dipped their lives into weakness ama laziness hmm? ulikuwa na vision lakini pale ushamkubali huyu rafiki kuisha ushajichoma mwenyewe tujadhari na marafiki wetu so please try to get a destiny associate this is a person whose pain will become your own ukilia analia na wewe hata kama haiwausu they go out of their ways these we call them genuine friends and with genuine love everybody who smiles at you na anasema napenda mavazi yako ama mwakutana mtaani na hapo hapo wamuita you are rafiki eh? you are covenant friend you are bosom friend mpaka pale they will tear you into pieces baada ya majuma mawili hivi wamwacha na kutafuta mwingine please no lazima uwe na standards ya kuwa na marafiki wema eh? kuna marafiki wema wapaswa utafute uwe nao kwa sababu ya nini kuna relationship tofauti sana hapa ulimwenguni kama vile general seasonal na covenant ama destiny relationship Yaani wewe wakutana na mtu leo na hapo hapo msha make friends. Hapo hapo ushajua kwako. Hapo hapo ushajua una watoto wangapi. Hapo hapo usha hadi ashachukua namba ya mumeo. Ah jamani, sisi wenyewe tunajiumiza. Let's choose our friends very keenly. Tusitobokee kwa mashimo yenye hatuwezi itoka. Si must be the way na marafiki sijui milioni na nini. Ah ah. Just get only one na it is one in a million by the way kupata rafiki genuine yani yule mwenye yani uchungu wako ni uchungu wake ni ngumu sana na mimi naomba especially nyinyi wanandoa mimi naomba huyo genuine friend wako awe ni mumeo ama awe ni mkeo e, manake pale mtakuwa mnasaidiana na shida za hapa mauli mwinguni haya natumai mmebarikiwa natumai mme mepata yale leo tumeongelelea na naomba mnyatilie manani atatusaidia sina mengi kwa heri ya kuonana nusisahau kusubscribe ku like na ku chini ya video hii ili tuweze kuwasiliana until then bye bye